guys. Uh, let me just uh, adjust this camera just a little bit more. God, this is going to be hard. Oh, no, too far. Nope, now we're gone. Oh, my God. Just... <sighs> so, uh, hello, hey, hi, how are you doing? Oh, my God, I've been watching so much of that YouTuber on... Uh, ironically, YouTube. Um, so... I uh, I did a test a little while ago with my um, my little bass speaker. So I have three cameras running. So you are my main camera, you are my other camera over here, and you have, and my phone camera. So this is my mobile phone over here. This is my camcorder. This is my webcam. Webcam, uh, and I also have just here, which you can't see. You might see on this camera, but just here. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> but just here, I have my mic, and I'm just going to bring my mic down. Uh, and I'm just going to adjust. There we go. Right. Okay, so my mic is now here, which is really close, because I want to get good audio on this. Uh, like I said, a little while ago, I did a test of the 24mm bass speaker, which is the one right here. You want to see it there there you go uh against um this speaker which i bought which is the one of the best speakers i could find a 28 which is a 28 mil side by side comparison there you go one is this one is clearly bigger than this one but this one is clearly chunkier than this one so this one's got way more and this gave really good bass and i when i compare these two i said this one overall was a better speaker I honestly thought this speaker was overall better. Now, one of the things that kind of annoyed me was uh, I just chucked the video together uh, and there wasn't really any any science to it. So there's going to be a bit more science to it. I'm going to try and make this as equal as I can. So I have cut out this piece of metal which will go over this speaker and it will sit like that. And that has exactly one inch of resonance um, between the speaker and the top. I have done the same for this speaker, so I've got another piece of metal, and this has exactly one inch of resonance between the speaker and the top. There we go. So here we go. Don't mind that, so here we go. This is the speaker, uh, the 24mm bass speaker, and it has exactly one inch uh, of space between the top of the speaker and the top end of the metal, and this is the 28mm speaker. Um, which again has exactly one inch of space between the two. So I can try and make this as fair as I possibly can. And the reason for this test today, guys, is I have another speaker, a very, very lovely uh, patron and viewer has sent this to me. This is a speaker uh, from Smuggler's Outpost. Now, if you don't know who Smuggler's Outpost are, uh, they are uh, a fantastic company that sell lightsabers, but they also sell lots of parts, including speakers. So they actually sell uh, these 28 mil. Now this on here, it says it's a three watt four ohm base. Uh, sorry, a three watt four ohm base. I don't know if I can, can I show you that to you? To you? So I think you'll be able to see that on the uh, on the. So it says, three watt four ohm. This is the speaker here. Now it looks a lot like. I mean, like for like, these are basically the exact same shape, the exact same size. Um, there, there's literally no difference between these two, apart from the one I bought, which is this one earlier and tested, it has a black centre, and the one from Smuggler's Outpost has a silver centre. So it's easier to tell apart. Uh, and this is the interesting thing. So even though it says it's a three watt, three watt four ohm base, uh, three watt four ohm speaker on here, on the back it says it's a two watt four ohm speaker. Uh, S S dot O dot Elite. I'll show you to this, to this camera. So that's what this is a one for Smuggler's Outpost. As I said, it has a silver front. And that's what it says on the back. So it doesn't match up to what it says on the can which is weird but this is a test of how they sound and i'm going to do two or three sound fonts i'm going to sound a sound font i like 
and then uh, the reason for multiple cameras is so you can listen to how it sounds from these three points. So we've got the speak microphone here, which I'm talking through now, and we have the microphone, we have the mi microphone on the camcorder, we have the microphone. So we have three different sources of recording audio. And that's what we're gonna and that's what we're gonna do this time. I've even I've even prepped and put a bloody button on the board. And I installed the uh, light as well. So this is a 24 mil, 24 mil bass peak. I want to find a good sound profile to start with. So let's go through the profiles. Okay, I'm not going to adjust the volumes or anything like that. No. I want something a bit more bass. I'll cast this one. That's very much like the old profile, the other profile. I want to try something a bit beefier. The Dark Sword. No. I don't like that one. Dark Ages. Not doing Dark Ages. The second. Oh. Right, let's listen to this. Okay, now let's listen to this. Okay, now let's listen to this. I don't know it didn't sound that much better but it did seem a mm, I don't know it didn't sound that much better but it did seem a bit have a bit more presence
try serenity in this one. And let's try serenity in this one. Also note that I am putting the speaker back to pretty much the same place as each one. Okay, so the, it is much better at dealing with the high end than my speaker. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do any more. I think that's enough profiles. Let's see what it sounds like going through them. Scavenger. Oh, wow. Princess. I'm literally just going to swap it over. I'll be honest guys, um, they are so close, so close, you just heard those two, side by side, without turning it off and turning it on, and they were so close, that's, it, that, the 24 mil, 24 mil, the 24 mil bass speaker, yes, it sounded slightly quieter than the 28 mil one. I'll give you that, but it sounded much clearer and much more crisp on the notes, whereas that one seemed to struggle with the high end. That didn't struggle with the high end as much. It's fractionally quieter, the 24 mil bass speaker. Let's, let's just listen to this one profile, because this one profile seems to have fairly good tones. So this is the... Um, so... We've got the 28 mils, uh, 28 mil bass speaker set up right now. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds very good. Right, and then we'll go to my one. That sounds crisper and clearer. That sounds crisper and clearer as well. I'll do start upon it. That sounds... There's no, there's no harsh reverb on this. Uh, I want to know your thoughts. Obviously, the one I bought before, the 24mm one, that's not a contender. That's not going to compete between these two. There's very little difference between the two. 
very little difference. Sometimes that is the uh, smuggling outpost it is better in some areas, but more times I find that this is better for just clear, uh, for the quality of clear audio. What's your comments? I, I need to know what you lot think. I'm going to get this video put together, so it's on one, two, three. See you all later, guys.